everybody, Jeff with Covet the Camper. Well, today I'm working on a uh, 1993 Springdale fifth wheel. Got a bunch of different things I'm doing with this RV, but today I'm going to show you uh, one of the issues that they were having was uh, uh, leaky windows. Uh, I'm resealing uh, the whole coach. Uh, one of the things that they were complaining about was the uh, kitchen window and uh, some of the living room windows were uh, letting water in onto the countertop. So I'm going to show you how I uh, reseal those and put them all back together. All right, so we've got this 93 Springdale and this kitchen window and this living room window are leaking. Uh, you can see that the old butyl tape is pretty well shot. Uh, it's all dried out and cracked and this stuff doesn't last forever so you do have to uh, reseal these windows and the best way to do it is just to remove them scrape all of the old butyl tape off the old dried cracked butyl tape and then uh, just apply new butyl tape and reseat the window all right so these windows um, are pretty easy to remove they're You've got this trim ring on the inside with a, a bunch of uh, square number two square tip screws in here. Uh, this one's got about oh, 10 or 12 screws around the ring. So you remove all those and then uh, gently remove the, the trim ring, uh, which also retains it to the sidewall. So how these windows work is this, this ring, basically the screws go into the outer window frame and it just clamps it to the wall. Uh, there is some sealant in there, of course, um, uh, in the form of butyl tape. So we're gonna, you know, pop pop this window out, scrape all that old stuff off. Uh, we've got some new butyl tape here, and uh, again, we've got our square tip. And if we need to, go around on the outside um, out here with some some clear a lot of times i like to go uh just on the top just maybe down to about here uh, but all along the top with some clear uh, sealant and i like to use the lexel clear sealant it's really good stuff so we'll just start removing these screws again go to the square number two And then I like to leave one screw at the top, maybe two screws at the top, but um, I pull these screens out and that's just so you can kind of get a better grab. These screens do pop out. Just like that. And now I can hold on to the window while I take out this last screw. And I don't have to worry about the window falling out onto the ground. Okay. This trim ring off. And just be careful if there's loose wallpaper or any trim or anything like that. Just be careful not to tear. So that's the if that's the case, I've got you know these assorted uh, putty knives and and uh, scrapers for old sealant, and uh, I'll just go along that bottom edge with my uh, putty tool and uh, just gently break away that that wallpaper trim from the bottom of the trim ring trim ring comes off that window is still in there pretty good but set your trim ring aside and then you can uh you know kind of get an idea of how stuck this window is especially on these smaller ones um, they'll come out just like that and then you can bring them in all right so and then what i'll do is grab a pad or some carpet or something like that i've got uh, some big chunks of cardboard too uh, set the window on that and then uh you're going to have a bunch of old putty tape that's that's just going to come off in chunks. 
So that's all gonna be scraped off. Got a, a bunch of different sized scraper, scraper tools. So I usually just find one that kind of fits down in that channel and then just scrape all this old stuff away. Just like that. Throw that stuff out. Make sure you get all the way around. Okay, so once you've got all the old putty off all the way around, um, take a, a little bit of acetone on a rag. Wear, make sure you wear some uh, latex gloves or some rubber gloves. Uh, get some acetone on a rag and then just give it a quick wipe down. Uh, and then anything, there's uh, you know a couple of little spots like right there. Anything that you see after you wipe it down, uh, just scrape, finish scraping that up, clean it up real well, and then we'll throw on our new butyl tape. Now we can take our butyl tape and just start. Wrapping it around. Okay, once you've got your butyl tape all the way around, let's go put this back on the coach. All right, so this being a 10-sided fifth wheel, uh, well, first off, before we mount the new window, we wanna make sure we clean up any of the uh, old butyl tape from the 10 siding. And then you can see the profile of this tin, how it's got the ridges and valleys. So you would just wanna make sure that you can see here on the, on the original butyl tape that it didn't squeeze out. So that's why I like to double up on the sides. I'll um, you know, just, just do a, a double thing of, a double layer of butyl tape on both sides here. That way I'll get squeeze out and uh, I can clean up those edges with my um, Teflon stick and um, I'll make sure that I've got a good seal in the valleys as well as the ridges all the way around. All right so with all that old butyl tape scraped off the uh, tin on the outside I'll go ahead and wipe this surface down with acetone. Now you need to make sure that you don't go too heavy on the acetone and make sure that you don't have any decals that you're gonna to be touching. Uh, the acetone will just remove uh, the color on the decals. So um, just use it sparingly, just around the, just the tight edge here, just to clean up some of the old butyl. All right, so make sure you've got your window oriented the correct way. So the screen goes on the bottom side here. And then of course, again, with this window being small, um, I can install this from the inside. Just make sure that we get everything aligned. Pull it into place. Okay, once it's kind of put into place, now we can get our trim ring and uh, run one screw into the top just to hold it, and then we can make sure everything's aligned on the outside. You can hold your trim ring and the window frame with one hand while you're running that first screw in. There it is. Okay, so now that's secure enough to hold it for now, and now we can uh, make any micro adjustments that we need to do. I'll run uh, one more screw in on this side.
Okay, so now that we know we're all square, we can finish running the rest of these screws in. So we can see a bunch of it squeezed out there. I'll just clean all that up with my uh, Teflon stick here and make sure that we don't have any gaps or anything in the, in the butyl tape. Okay, and there it is. Fresh pliable butyl tape. no gaps and then what I like to do I may have mentioned this at the beginning of the video but I do like to go um, from about right here uh, all the way up and around to about right there with clear Lexel sealant and um, that way you know kind of the brunt of the water coming down off the siding uh, is uh, has a little bit of uh, sealant flashing Run, uh, you know, push it away off to the sides. And that's it. That's how I reseal these um, aluminum sided travel trailers uh, on, the, on the windows. And you should probably do it, you know, just look at your seals. Like we've got this one. Look at your uh, butyl sealant to make sure you can see how that's all cracked. And uh, obviously if you've got any water coming in, but these should be taken out and resealed about every probably, oh, depending on where you're at, seven to 10 years. And don't forget to pop your screen back in. Get it all lined up, just like that. And now we're done. All right, but that's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.